After an eight long months of shutdown of public universities by Nigerian lecturers, the doors are flung open again for work to start. At the University of Lagos, life is gradually returning to the campus, but it is still a far cry from how busy it would have been on a Monday morning. Students are happy to be back. Although ready to pick up their tools again, the lecturers say the resumption is in respect of the rule of law. Yes, the, this strike has been suspended in compliance with the court order. We are hoping to hear what the court will eventually say, whether it is appropriate for a government to enter into an agreement with a people and flagrantly violate those agreements and then take side with one of the parties. We are waiting to see that. They didn't mean words in stating their frustration over what they say is an unfair treatment by their employer. I don't think any serious academic will be happy with how uh, the country is treating the intelligentsia. Um, we are now in a knowledge-driven society, you know, so if um, people are demotivated, you should know that that will have implications for the kind of output, you know, that they, they give. Uh, so um, if, the out, if, the, if the person is, um, is unhappy, if you're unhappy, you can't deliver. It's a similar atmosphere at the University of Ibadan. Virtually everywhere is still empty on the first day of resumption. Some of the students around hope their joy of resumption is not short-lived. I'm actually happy that we, because of the strike, but he said, I think he said, you know, um, this just suspended it. That means but I just hope that the federal government should just answer them on time. However, the campus at the University of Portacourt in River State seems a little busier. Students trickle in, most of them graduating ones, making final preparation for the mandatory youth service. While some non-academic staff are making the empty lecture halls ready for use, lecturers say they are in high spirit to resume work in compliance with the order of the National Executive Committee of the Union. As I speak with you now, a lot of lecturers are in high spirit, waiting to see their students, waiting to teach, supervise, and do the work we are supposed to do as academics. The feeling looks different at the University of Calabar in Crossover State, where the premises get quite busy, so also the classroom. Everyone looks up and doing. This, the management of the university state is to regain lost time especially as students will be sitting for exams in a matter of two weeks. The academic calendar is already out. We're going to follow that religiously. And uh, we are not going to, to abridge it in such a manner that students will end up taking nothing. For the Vice Chancellor of the Namdi Azikiwe University, Oka in Anambra State, the school will speed up activities to round off the first semester of 2021-2022 academic session by first week of December. The time that we lost, we are going to, in our characteristic manner, uh, meet up with all of them. We are going to stress ourselves. We are going to work extra hours and extra time to make sure that the lost grounds are regained. Students here express joy at coming back to school and demand an end to the incessant industrial action. Why can't there be a peaceful resolution once and for all to the main roots of this strike? So I think the government in power should do everything necessary to stop or to put an end to ASU strike once and for all. If I let this be the last, let it never happen again. After a long lull, lecture halls are getting alive again and students who are the direct victims of the unpass hope that this settlement will not be short-lived.